Hello, I'm Stumpy the Squirrel. Let's make a game with RPG in a box. In this tutorial, we'll create a grass tile, and then make a map with it in the map editor. Let's get started. Start up RPG in a box and open your how to make a game project. In order to create a map, we first need to create a tile. Click the new resource button on the toolbar to open the new resource dialog. Since this is our first tile, we can also click this helpful button shown on the tiles tab. A tile is the primary building block of a map. Tiles are typically used to construct the ground on which characters walk, buildings, and other structures and architecture. Ensure tile is selected for type, then enter a unique name. We'll just call this grass. 16 by 16 is the recommended tile width. However, let's decrease the height a bit since our grass tile will be flat. Click OK. For the next dialog, we'll select Passable since we want Stumpy and other characters to be able to walk on it. The Passable option should be used for ground and floor tiles, or anything that should be walkable. Use Impassable for everything else, like walls and other structural tiles. When a tile is passable, the Auto Navigation feature in the Map Editor will attempt to connect navigation paths to that tile when placed. Click the Passable button to proceed. Now, we could draw our own grass if we wanted, but for this tutorial we use a helpful tool called the Noise Generator to quickly create a texture for us. Before opening this tool, let's copy the hex code for a nice forest green from our palette. We'll be pasting this into the Noise Generator dialog. Click the Noise Generator button located on the Voxel Editor toolbar. Click the box beside the base color setting, then paste the hex code into the hex code field. Click outside the color picker to close it. If we click the generate button now, the tool will create a randomly generated noise texture using the forest green as its base color. If desired, you can play around with the other settings, but for this tutorial we'll just click generate until we're happy with the result. Click the OK button. As you can see, we now have a layer of voxels along the bottom of the grid containing the generated texture. Save the tile. We're now going to create a map, so click the New Resource button. Choose Map for Type. Our game is going to take place in a forest village, so enter that for the name. Select 16 by 16 for the tile size. This indicates that any tiles placed into the map will need to be exactly 16 by 16 voxels in size. Click OK to create the map. To rotate the camera, hold the middle mouse button and drag left or right, or press Ctrl plus the left or right arrow key. To move the camera, hold Shift plus the middle mouse button and drag, or press Shift plus the arrow keys. Use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out or press Ctrl plus the up or down arrow key. Click the grass tile on the tiles tab. This will automatically select the place tool on the map tools panel. The place tool allows you to add tiles to the map, and can also be selected by pressing F1. As you can see, a flashing tile is displayed to indicate where the tile will be added if we left click. Before placing any tiles, Enable the Random Rotation option on the Map Tools panel. This will randomize the rotation of each tile placed, and will help the grass appear more natural. Since we're in Box Place mode by default, we can hold the left mouse button and drag to draw an area of tiles. Let's make our map 10 by 10 tiles in size. The colored lines are navigation and interaction paths. For example, green lines indicate that characters are permitted to both walk and interact between the two connected tiles. These were automatically added since we set up the grass tile as passable. You can hide these by toggling the display navigation paths button on the map editor toolbar. 
If you ever want to go back and randomize the rotation of any tiles, click the Edit Tool on the Map Tools panel, or press F2. Switch to Box Mode to quickly select an area, or press B, then left click and drag to select the desired tiles. Now right click on the selection and choose Randomize Rotation, or simply press Y. Press Escape to clear the selection. When you're done editing, save the map. And remember, save early and save often. Congratulations, you've created your first tile and map. We'll soon be exploring our new world. Thank you so much for watching, my dear friend. You are a lovely and wonderful person. Until we meet again.